So today we're going to talk about the concepts of weathering and erosion. And our focus question is going to be, what is the difference between weathering and erosion? And if you guys remember on Friday, we started talking about this idea of this weathering. And we did our experiment with the alka seltzer or denture tablets. So weathering is a natural process. And this breaks rock into smaller pieces, which we call sediment. And there's two different types. There's chemical and mechanical. And mechanical is also called physical weathering. So let's discuss those two different types. Chemical weathering changes the actual chemical composition of the rocks and minerals. And one of the big things we talked about that contributes to this is this idea of this acid rain. Mechanical or physical is when rocks are broken apart by physical force. And the examples that we learned about in our interactive about this was ice wedging, plant action, abrasion, temperature changes. Um, we also learned about exfoliation and a few others. Erosion. Erosion is when soil and rock is moved from one place to another. And this is usually through the processes of wind or water. So if sediment is carried down river down to the delta where it's dumped, this would be considered erosion. Or if sediment is, or sand is moved from a beach further down the beach, this is also an example of erosion. So what's the difference between the two? So if a particle is just loosened chemically or mechanically, but it doesn't actually move or it stays put, we call this weathering. Once the particle actually starts moving, this is when we call it erosion. So if a piece of, if rock is to break apart and it stays in the, that spot, that's weathering. If that rock is then blown all over the place by wind or moved by the process of, um, of water movement, then we would call this erosion. So let's practice. Rock is moved down a stream by water. This is erosion. The particle is actually being moved. Rocks are smoothed out by hitting each other. Weathering. This is something we saw when we talked about this idea of abrasion. A plant root grows through a rock and cracks it. This is another example of weathering, where the rock is broken apart, but none of the parts are moved. Sand is moved by waves down the beach to another area. This is an example of erosion. A mountain erodes at the top and slowly becomes more rounded. This is also erosion, and the key word in that is erodes. So go ahead and move on to your worksheet for today. When you've completed that, there are some extra exercises that you can work on listed on the website.